Hello and welcome to a special edition of Forex TV University Education Series. Today we're pleased to introduce a new segment called Tools of the Trade. In this series, we'll review some of the top decision support tools available to traders in the Forex marketplace and how they can help you become a better trader. Hi, I'm Tim Kelly, founder and CEO of Forex TV. Today I have the distinct honor to welcome as our first guest to the program, Craig Russell from eSignal. Craig is the head of eSignal Learning. Welcome to the program. Thanks, Tim. It's good to be here. Well, uh, there's been a lot of uh, press and uh, marketing uh, about the Advanced Get product. I want you to tell us a little bit about it. Give us Very a little much. overview. Well, the eSignal Advanced Get Edition is really the coming together of two highly powerful sets of tools that eSignal had at its disposal. The eSignal platform is one of the best bar none in the world for financial analysis, technical analysis of financial markets. What we've done is we've combined the advanced get set of proprietary tools with all that and put it together in one powerful place with education on how to use those tools. So advanced get, let's 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 break this down for our viewers okay. here. Uh, what what is advanced get? Uh, sure. I, I know Gan Elliot, can you explain just well, the fundamentals? Ad advanced get is a set of tools in proprietary trades that has been around for over twenty years. Okay. The get G E T stands for Gan Elliot Trader, bringing together those market theories Gan and Elliot into a set of powerful yet easy to use tools for the layperson and building a rules based disciplined trading methodology around them. Okay. And, and who uh, who are, who are the users here? I, I know, you know, obviously the forex sure. market, but who's this ideally uh, suited know, for? This is ideally suited for anybody who wants to take control of their own financial situation and manage their own trading, make their own decisions. Whether they be, you know, forex traders, it is dynamite in the forex market, but stocks and futures as well. Uh, advanced get is used. I know people who use it on very small accounts, several thousand dollars, to fund managers running a couple hundred million dollars. So okay. it's appropriate for any level of trader. That's one of the great things about it. Okay. You can start out small and grow a lot with this program. Now th you said it's been around for about twenty years. How mm -hmm. is this? Uh, I mean, how is it going to be different from somebody who is using a a standard package. Obviously, eSignal is is probably the biggest in the business for decision support. Well, eSignal is one of the top three to four worldwide. Period. We carry over a hundred and thirty different markets worldwide. Um, how is it going to be different? The big difference right now is the proprietary get tools plus the power that eSignal just itself brings in being able to do things like write your own indicators in our EFS language set alerts, view market depth on various markets. It, it's just very powerful overall and the combining of the two packages together with advanced get inside of eSignal is just phenomenal. So in, in, in terms of, uh, of a trader's use, if, mm -hmm. I'm, if I'm used to either trading with GAN or, or Elliott, uh, you know, give me a, give yeah. me a specific if use. I know we're going to look used at to, some of If this. you're used to any of the kind of standard, you know, charting packages out there, this is going to be very similar. All of that functionality that you're used to is there, then some. So it's not like starting over from ground zero. Uh, all the popular public domain types of things are in there, your MACDs, your moving averages, those types of things, in addition to the other powerful tools that we bring. Mm -hmm. So, so, so you, you're saying somebody who's used to just basic technical analysis will, will pick this up? Anybody used to just basic techno technical analysis will be able to pick this up very rapidly. For those who might be a little newer to technical analysis, that's why we do the education we do now to go with this product. We will step you through. How do you understand what a bar chart is? How do you understand what a candlestick is? How are those things formed? What are they representing on the chart? Right, right. Greg, you know, when I look at your marketing material, you mm -hmm. offer a lot of training. When I, when I look, and that's, I, I think that's good news, mm -hmm. uh, but um, when, when I'm, I'm entering this marketplace, let's say I'm, a, I'm an average technician. Sure, okay. How long is the learning curve? How, how, how hard is it? How long is it? Because I know you offer a lot of sure. training, online training, the, in person The training, training that we provide now, three months that comes with the product, is just dynamite. It takes many forms. There's recorded sessions people can watch 24-7. Plus, we do live two-hour sessions three times a week, every week, where people get access to myself and my fellow partners, traders, and trainers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to vary person to person, but within 30, 35 days, you should be fairly well up to speed because of the nature of the trades that we give you. It's not, well, when it sort of looks like this, then you're going to go and get into the market. It's very disciplined. Step one, step two, step three. 
we like to follow what we call a, a series of uh, steps called GETM, G-E-T-M. Stands for get the trade, examine, trigger the trade, manage the money. And it's that same process with each one of our trades that we teach. Okay, so let's talk about that because if I put five technicians in a room, tell them all to look at a chart, I may get five different answers. So are you saying that goes away, the, the, the manual interpretation? From our perspective, that manual interpretation goes completely away. You either have a setup or you don't. There's no middle ground, which knowing when you don't have a setup is actually every bit as important as knowing when you do have a setup. There are times to be in the market and times when you just don't want to be in the market. Because it's in the end, ultimately, it's not about time in the market. It's about time in the market. So uh, explain that. Well, time are in the we market about, are would we just about be... entry point and exit point here? You're talking, talking about talking? getting a precise entry point with limited risk for bigger reward, knowing exactly where you're going to take your profits, knowing exactly where you're going to get in, how you're going to manage that position once you're in, all the way through completion when you ultimately get all the way out. Now, I know you're going to show us a couple of setups, but is, yeah. is that some we'll do that. two questions? One is, how long does it take me to get to that point where I can use advanced get? Um, and we call it advanced get? We is call it advanced get. Yeah. Refer to? Okay. Yeah. So, in three, is it going to take me three months to it's learn how to... It's not going to take you three months. It's not going to okay. take you three months. It should take you within 30 days. You should be very comfortable and starting to see some success out of what you're doing. I see. And now, some people, you know, not everybody's the same, and it does take some effort. I'm going to assume that you're going to be a good student. You're going to come and take advantage of all the great education we offer to go with it and not expect to, you know, load the software in your machine, turn it on, and suddenly it starts raining money. Okay? That's, if it was that simple, everybody would do it. It's not. Uh, understood. I, I, you know, I think, <clears throat> I think we, we want to uh, certainly be aware of the fact that you know, this is, is more of uh, still a, an art and not a science. If, uh, if everybody were making money, the business as we knew it, uh, know it would cease to exist, right? Mm -hmm. oh, it's, we certainly wouldn't be here talking about it. Um, so there, there obviously is a learning curve here. Mm -hmm. So when I, when I do get that 30 days under my belt, mm -hmm. am, I, am I still going to have to do the interpretation? I, I, I want to dig you're, a little bit more into You're going to know where you're at. You're going to know where you're at. You're still going to want to go and grow a little bit. I mean, as a trader, I've been at this for over 10 years full time now, and I still learn a little something all the time. There's always something to be learned. So you're never going to stop learning. But within that 30 day window, you're going to know I see it, I get it, this is how it works. Now all I need is to fine tune some of the things I'm doing. And maybe, maybe I can learn to be a little more proficient at this one trade. That's why we do three months worth of the education, because it's, it's good for people to get that reinforcement. So you're saying a, 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 somebody with an account mm -hmm. with absolutely no technical skills whatsoever, no, no skills about the technical marketplace, okay. is there a minimum prerequisite uh, you know, skill set that one should, should have before acquiring the product? The product is not free. There's not a, no, there's, there's not so. a minimum skill set one should have before acquiring the product. There is a desire element. You should desire to learn. Now, if you're brand new, let's just say that you fell off of a planet somehow and landed on Earth and didn't even know what a market was, you know, then you've got to be willing to put in a little time and understand that it's not going to happen fully for you in those 30 days. Mm -hmm. But if you go through our foundation curriculum, you come to our mentoring and coaching sessions, within 30 days you're going to have a handle on it. And you're going to know that that's something you can do and then go apply to your own account, your own trading. Okay, so we're going to, later in the segment, we're, I want you to take us through a couple of setups. We'll do. Um, let, let's talk about access to the product. Okay. Uh, where, do, where does somebody find the product? Is this, is this well, can I, can okay. I get it through sure. eSignal? Do I get it through my broker? How? You can get it through eSignal right now. That's our distribution. We do some demos a couple of times a week, either online or several cities around the U.S. and over in London at various times during the year, and you can see the schedule of those at eSignalLearning.com. Um, are those, are those sorry, go ahead. free those sessions? Are free. Or, there are or, some free sessions yeah. just to introduce people to the concepts. We do some, it's kind of like Trading 101. We introduce some good concepts, some risk management to people to get them thinking because ultimately you need to be thinking when you're, when you're working with your own money in the markets because here's the thing, nobody cares as much as you care. So you better be thinking. Um, and then as far as how we distribute it, 
You know, in the Forex market, it's a real-time market. You do need live streaming data. That comes right over the Internet. You need a high-speed connection. Mm -hmm. uh, you can download the software. We also, when you purchase it, ship out a manual and a, a DVD, CD with the software on it as well. Or if you want to jump right in without getting the manual, start using the online stuff, you can just go download it from our website. So there are no special requirements on the hardware side? No. Any standard PC you buy pretty much today off the shelf is going to be able to run this with no problem. And a cable or DSL connection? High-speed connection of some kind, yeah. You mentioned the data. Let's talk a little bit about the data. Sure. I'm, I'm, I'm going to trade on, on data. Mm -hmm. uh, theoretically, I might have a, uh, you know, my, my trading system, my mm -hmm. advanced get. Then I'm going to have my broker system. your decision support. In advanced get, right? That's where you're going to get your ideas. That's going to tell you when to enter a market, when to get out of a market. But then you're going to need a brokerage account with a Forex broker or a stock broker or a futures broker, whatever your chosen market is. But Forex in particular is very popular. You're going to need a, a way to go execute those trades. E-Signal itself, we don't, we're not a broker. We don't execute trades for people. We provide the tools to make decisions on when you want to go execute them. So, you know, let's let's talk a little bit about the data because now I'm gonna I'm gonna do my decision support mm -hmm. with um, Craig and his gang and sure. his signal. Right. They're gonna teach me how to use it. I'm gonna work Absolutely. on advanced get with right. e signal data. Now e signal Correct. I know is a big company. Tell can you tell me a little bit about the data side? Because theoretically sure. I'm gonna be Absolutely. trading on your data, I'm gonna be making decisions on your data and theoretically trading uh, with my broker True. on other data. How, right. how does that? Okay. Well, not on other data. Most, what we have for Forex is something called GTIS feed, which has something like 200 plus contributors to it. Most of your large Forex brokers that we could start naming them off and everybody would recognize their names. Can you name a few or is well, that I mean, proprietary? That's not proprietary. You'll see them in the feed, but Gain Capital, FXCM, TDFX, the MB trading arm of, uh, you know, their Forex brokerage. Those folks are all in there along with several large banks. Okay. As a composite, they make up our Forex feed. So you get pretty good prices out of it. In addition... Can I ask you to name some of the banks? Can't name the banks. Okay. I didn't, I didn't think so, but I, I had to ask. That's fair. Um, but in addition to that, we have the ability within the advanced get edition of the software to isolate one contributor's set of quotes and build your chart just on theirs. Okay, if that's so what you if, choose if, to I'm do. A, if I'm a customer of one of the brokers you talked about, I Absolutely. can just isolate it. And, and I'd be willing to bet any, any, any non institutional Forex trader is going to be working with somebody who's in that feed. Okay, that's, that's fair enough. Now, let's, uh, one of the things that uh, I, I want to talk about is um, uh, the depth of the product. Um, uh, E-Signal, for those who are familiar, sure. and, and for those who are not, um, yeah, I, I know that E-Signal comes with a lot of um, and, and some iterations, and maybe we should explain what the, the uh, addition of advanced get is, sure. uh, as you referred to in the, in the outset. Mm -hmm. But uh, with, with regard to optional services, is this a standalone, or are there add-ons here? Can I customize well, this interface? Yeah. We had there a, are, before the discussion here, we were talking sure. about some individuals well, who... Well, there, there are some... Uh, there are some flavors of eSignal, if you will. There's regular eSignal that you can subscribe to, and you'll get all the public domain studies that are out there. If you you know you like RSI or ADX or MACDs, any of that stuff, it's all going to be in there. The ability to write your own is going to be in there. You can have that, and we do some education on how to manipulate that product, how to add studies to the charts, how to populate quote windows, how to look at the market depth, that kind of thing. Then there's the advanced get edition, which is an upfront purchase, but included with that purchase is the three months of the education we've been talking about, where we will teach you specific proprietary trading methodologies. Okay, so there's there there are some different flavors that way, but all your standard public domain stuff is in there, as well as a lot of other folks have their own proprietary studies they've written to the eSignal platform, and you can subscribe to those as well. So in in the in the eSignal platform, I can go get my my news. As well, absolutely. So, uh, we can we yeah. can have this. We have this several this different potential news we'll feeds for okay. people to subscribe to if they wish. Yeah, definitely. And uh, so, so there are premium products, and there are there are actual uh, yeah. Other there there are, there are add-ons, and and that's why you you really probably want to have a little talk with one of the one of the representatives when you go to pick it out to make sure you sign up for just exactly what you want. Okay. Some people want the news, some people don't. Now, you, yeah. you mentioned price. Why don't, why don't mm -hmm. we talk about price? What what is this going to cost the the trader? You know. It's going to run anywhere from $40 a month to $300 a month. 
kind of depending upon which flavors they choose to pick up. Now, the Advanced Get Edition itself is an upfront purchase. What is the cost of that? It's $3,000. Twenty nine ninety five. Twenty nine ninety five. And what do I get for that? For that, you own the get? Advanced Get Edition of eSignal. Okay. Yeah. You get three when, months worth of uh, all that. Let me stop you there. Yeah. When, when I own that, uh, I mean, I, I have a license to the software. You own the software now. Now it's going to take data on the Forex side. It needs data, right? It needs that streaming live real time data. That can start as low as forty dollars a month for you. So it's okay. very so inexpensive. Very, very inexpensive. Okay. Going forward. Now, $40 a month, does mm -hmm. that get me the GTIS feed yep. that you referred to? Yes, it does. That the full feed mm -hmm. with all the contributors inside? Yep. Okay. Plus I the ability to isolate out just if you want to see just yours. I see. Now, are there any uh, additional fees on the, on the product? No, that's it. I mean, you're, you're, when you're there, so you're done. Once I, once I purchase the product. Unless you choose to start adding on other pieces and items here and there from you know, other p people uh, potentially. Why don't you take us through a typical scenario? Yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm okay. an average trader. I decide average I'm going to spend. I'm going to spend three thousand dollars. Average $3, you're going to come and you're going to say, okay, I see some things here that I've been missing, and I want to take advantage of this education, because the education alone is worth the price of admission. Personal opinion, I admit I'm biased, but starting out ten years ago, I can tell you, the amount of education that's available today was nowhere near around. I mean, you had to scream, kick, and claw to find somebody who was willing to teach well, you trading. Well, $3,000 is a low entry point for a training program. I so think it is. Let's, let's yeah. put this in perspective. I don't want to sell your product for yeah. you, but I want to put it in perspective. I spend, let's say, $3,000. Mm -hmm. I get the software. Yeah. I know I'm on the hook for 40, maybe $40 a month. Yeah. In, in terms of training, are, you're going to take me through three months three of training? Three solid months of need comes included in that. Then if you choose, you can go month to month to a la carte, some of the coaching, some of the foundation if you choose. Some people choose to do that. Some people get far enough after three months, they're like, I'm very happy. I don't need to keep going. I'll shoot them an email every once in a while if I need to check in on something, and we're very good about trying to respond to those. So, so Greg, after, after three months of, mm -hmm. of training, I come in and I, I, I get my training and sure. I've got, I've acquired my software. Uh, what happens after that on, on the training and support front? On the training side, you're going to have a decision to make. Do you want to still take advantage of the, the mentoring sessions in the foundation? You can sign up for that going forward month to month. Okay. And there's a fee associated? There's a fee associated with that. With that. What, what does okay. that cost? It's going to vary depending upon which pieces you choose to put together. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's going to run anywhere from 200 to $400 a month. That's going to be kind of up to you to figure out which pieces were most attractive to you. If none, you're, you're done with that part of it. We do do a couple of premium classes that we do live at various locations around the U.S. and over in London. So there is a two-day course we've got called Creating a Profitable Trading Plan that takes on a, a tone of teaching you to really hone in and write your trading plan as well as teaching you some further techniques using some of the advanced get stuff, some really aggressive entry really aggressive money management. It's not appropriate for everybody to use those things. That's why we don't give it away in the core, because we want people to be a little more conservative when they're just getting started. Okay. Uh, Greg, our, you know, we, we've been talking about this, this product for, for a few minutes now. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I asked a question a little bit early. I want to go back to sure. it. Uh, the, the target audience, is this, is this more for a, an individual trader that's maybe trading from home, or an institutional, or is it, uh, and, and you know, both. Both. Literally, it is for both. This product can go and grow with anybody. You can take it and just use a couple of the very straightforward proprietary strategies we've got, or if you've got some of your own that you want to build in there, build those in and use those as an individual. But like I said earlier, I mean, we've got a guy, I, I just got done talking to a guy two days ago who's running a $100 million fund, and he's using advanced get. And so he's, so he's, a, he's a fund manager, so yeah. you, you, you're... Is that where is your business? If you don't mind me asking, I, I need to, our business is empowering people who are trading markets. If you want to trade the forex market, for instance, we want to give you good quality decision support and trading methodologies to do so. You could be trading your own account, or you could be trading hundreds of millions of dollars. Where the do most concepts your, are all the same. Where do most most of our clientele individuals trading their own money. Hands down, that's. Most of our clientele. And that's that most people involved in the markets, though, however. That's true. But uh, does that include uh, 
people who are doing it professionally or, or people who are doing it full time, generating their living from it, absolutely. And does that include uh, proprietary traders in the larger shops, or we have a few of those, definitely. Yeah. But this is mo mainly targeted towards the, the the retail audience, if we will. Self-directed. Theoretically, there should be no difference between information sought from uh, an institution or an individual, right? It, I guess it's well. More in theory, we'd all like to have the access. best information we can lay our hands on, right? right? There's there's no doubts about that. Now we all need to understand one thing, though, too, right? Those institutional guys running a hundred million dollars, they can spend a little more money gathering certain kinds of information. We can't. One of the things that makes GET and technical trading in general so attractive is that no matter how much information they have, they leave footprints in the market, and we can sniff them out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's let's talk about let's talk about those footprints. It's a you you actually give me a nice lead into the next question. Um, let's talk about quantifying results and, okay. and back testing and and sure. can you talk a little bit about you know how. How do I quantify, you know, that this product works? Can I okay. go back and look at scenarios? And I know you, you can show you some can, setups. There is there is back testing built in. Number one, uh, number two, we have a great replay feature where you can actually erase things that have happened and then play them forward over and over for yourself across any time frame. If you want to look at, you know, five minute charts or one minute charts or daily or hourly or four hour charts, you can. Take them back to a point in time and then play it forward to see how things formed as the real data was coming in. Okay, so let's let's so put that into perspective. a beautiful way of practicing and, and getting your methodology down. So I can I can go. Let's example. Mm -hmm. um, I go long, long dollar yen. Sure. So I, I my entry point was months ago, maybe two months ago, mm -hmm. uh, maybe a month ago. One one fourteen fifty. Sure. Okay. So what happens at that point? What do I do? Well, if you're long dollar yen with one of our strategies, you're going to start following our methodology. First off, you're going to know where you're going to place your stop. We're not always going to be right. right? So we have to be prepared to deal with when we're not right. Then you're going to start using your things like our mob to have your target, to know, okay, this is the potential I saw in the trade. This is where I think it could go. When it gets here, I know I want to take profits. That's first and foremost. Now, if you did that trade before perhaps having the software, probably what you want to do right now is take that replay mode, go back and look at it as it stood at that point in time, and see exactly where we would have helped you out. By either one, getting you in at a better price, getting you out at a better price, or by not having you be in at all. All right, so you know, a lot of schools of thought say, listen, I, you know, I'm going to get into a trade, mm -hmm. and I should have a plan where that trade's going. Mm -hmm. I should know I'm going to make 30 pips on this trade. And if I don't, I probably shouldn't be in the trade if I don't have an upside sure. expectation. Absolutely. The other, the other school of thought and some things that we've been talking about in other segments is that you should have a threshold of, of, of loss as well and don't Absolutely. exceed it. So does, does this, is the software going to help me there? Is Advanced Get going to say, hey, listen, I'm, I'm looking at a 30 pip upside. Mm -hmm. Is it going to tell me to, to cut my loss at a 15 pip downside, a before 2 to 1 you get trade? In, before you get in, there's a couple of things you're going to know. One, you're going to know the amount of risk. Is it 20 pips, 30 pips, 40 pips, 50 pips? What amount of risk? Where is my, if I take this entry, here's where I know I'm wrong. You're going to know that. You're going to know your potential. So you're going to be able to look at it and say, you know, my potential is only 20 pips here, but it's a 50 pip stop. That's bad math. Okay. What you want to see is a 20 pip stop for 50 pip potential. That's good math. No, is there a rule and of the thumb software or lets you know that? Is there a formula that you plug into the software that says, "Hey, listen, I, I don't want to I want to make twice as much as I'm willing to lose." That we recommend a very specific level around 1.6 to 1. Nothing less. But other people don't want to be as aggressive as that. They want to wait and see that 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 4 to 1 threshold. And the, okay. are those presets in the software? They're not presets in the software, but we teach you how to analyze each and every setup to predetermine exactly what this is. Is this a two to one reward to risk trade? Three to one reward to risk trade? One to one? And you're going to know before you ever get in. Okay. So, you know, I, I'd like you to, um, at, at this point, um, maybe just give me a, a general overview. Just, um, you know, you're the, you're the head guy for training there. Um, you know, you've probably seen a lot of products. We've talked about a couple sure. in the past, but you know, you don't have to name them. But um, I, 
Why do you think your product is, is the best product out there? And, and you told me you thought it is, and I believe you. But uh, I think why it's is that? I think it's the best out there for a couple of reasons. One, we have a, a set of strategies that deal with all the different market segments. All right, markets go through segments where they're trending, where they're not trending, where they're reversing trend, and we have methods for capturing each one of those segments. And we teach people when to apply which tool for the right market segment. It's not a one-trick pony. Uh, you know, when it crosses the moving average, we're always going to do this. That's not the case. There are times when that's just not set up correctly. So that, I think, to me, is the power. Is that it's not just one thing. We teach a couple of different scenarios. And if you like to be a little more aggressive, we've got some more aggressive trades for you. If you like to be a little more conservative, which I tend to err on that side myself, then we've got some more conservative trades. That I think that is one of the the, the keys in. In combining that with the discipline and the education, the very get the trade, examine, trigger, manage the money over and over again. Get up tomorrow, repeat. It's very disciplined. And that discipline, I think, is, is one of the built-in features that makes it so good. Many people, when they start out in markets, and I, I coached for a while in a, in a proprietary trading shop, many people start out and they, they, they just build bad habits through lack of discipline, and then they get into a spiral of, of psychology that just keeps working against them. And if people, when, when we get a hold of people like that, we can break that cycle for them or help them never to get into it in the first place. So is this three months like boot camp? It is like boot camp. It's, uh, one of the things I like to tell people is you've got to understand, when you come to the mentoring sessions, each one of our trades has a specific set of rules to go with it. And we want you to point out trades that maybe didn't work. Okay? We, those are where we're going to learn the most, most of the time. right? It's easy to say, oh, that trade worked so great. But where you need to improve yourself is in the ones that didn't work. And we're going to ask you, we're going to say, okay, Ted, what did we do? What are the rules for the type one trade? Can you give them to me? And if people can't give us those rules, we're going to just kind of call them out right there and say, well, how can you expect to be successful if you're not following the rules we've given you? Well, maybe we can get the theoretical TED in a little later, and you're going to show us that in a setup. Would you, would you be Absolutely. willing to do that? Absolutely. I've got to ask you the million-dollar question sure. here on, on any product, and I'm going to ask this sure. all the time. That's fine. If, um, you know, if, if a close relative, let's say your mom, was going to enter the market, would, mm -hmm. you, would you recommend advanced get? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that, uh, that's, a, that's a good testimony. Um, I think what we want to do now is if, mm -hmm. uh, if you've got some time, we're going to go through a couple of setups. Sure, uh, absolutely. Maybe take us through a couple of test trades, and uh, we'll see you uh, you know, all the things that you've been talking about. Uh, we'll be right back with Craig Russell, head of training, uh, head of training uh, and education yep. at uh, eSignal. Come back and join us. Okay, within Advanced Get, uh, we always tend to lean back on Elliott Wave Theory, even if it may not be blatantly apparent in our charts. And the pieces of the Elliott pattern that we like to trade are the impulse sections, or the five wave impulses. And for those who may not be familiar, I'll just do a uh, brief little introduction to that. Most Elliott editions will agree with this. Some will not, but most will. You have a five wave sequence. It always starts out with one. Then you get two, which tends to be a sharp and nasty pullback, followed by three, the nice big wave, four, some profit taking, and then a second attempt at new highs, or new lows, in this case highs since we're going up, on less momentum. And that gives you waves one, two, three, four, and five. So you get one to start it out, two, a pullback to try and shake everyone out, three, a nice long sustained move, four, a retracement or pullback, some profit taking from those involved in three, five, a new attempt at ties. But the key to five is that it's on less momentum than was present in wave three. Now, we're going to go over a strategy called the advanced get stochastic, which is a trend following strategy. It's trend continuation where we're looking to take advantage of small little pullbacks using something called the advanced get false bar stochastic. Now, the false bar stochastic works something like this. Most people will be familiar with your average everyday stochastic, and I have one down on the bottom 
pane of this chart here. This happens to be the dollar yen chart on a daily. So each one of these bars up here represents one day's worth of trading. Now down at the bottom is my get stochastic. The red and the blue line are the actual stochastic study itself. This indicator is bound by 0 and 100. In other words, on the bottom down here, we've got a level of 0. On the top right here, we've got a level of 100. Neither the percentage K or D will ever get greater than 100 or less than 0. So you can see here that the stochastic just kind of oscillates back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now the average everyday use of this is to define a couple of levels. I'm going to use 75 on the upper end right here and 25 on the lower end. When my stochastic gets above 75, I'm going to consider the market above overbought. When it gets below 25 down here, I'm going to consider it oversold. Now, you know, in theory, that sounds really good, right? It gets overbought, you probably want to be a seller. It gets, you know, oversold, you want to be a buyer. But the average everyday stochastic has one kind of fatal flaw. In a trend, whether it's up or down, signals from a stochastic against the trend tend to be very low probability. Within advanced get, we've added our own twist on this to make this a very powerful tool for trading with a trend and screening out lower probability signals. We've done that with the introduction of something called the false bar. That appears on the pane here as this black thick bar. When it's on the upside like it is over here, that indicates the presence of an uptrend, which tells us since we know stochastic signals against an uptrend, are low probability, we don't want to even think about trying to sell this market based on being overbought here. If it's on the downside like it is right here, we have a downtrend in place, which means we don't really want to be a buyer based on the stochastic strategy of any of these oversold conditions. The third thing it does for us is it tends to point out very high probability situations because the very first signal on the other side of the false bar, so the very first sell signal like we get here, tends to be very high probability because it's a continuation. It tells us we had a trend and now we've gotten a pullback, as you can see here, this market pulled back within the trend. We want to potentially look to take advantage of that for trend continuation in this direction. Okay. Now, this happens to be a daily chart, and if we just take a look at this, we can see that we did have a nice false bar on the downside back here, telling us we had a downtrend. We got a good little retracement. Our stochastic itself got above my 75 level without generating another false bar on top. That's something we're very, very interested in. Now, as a Forex trader, we may not be really thrilled with trading big time frames like a daily, but it's always good to know what the daily is doing and to attempt to go along with the daily chart in your Forex trading because the trends will be much smoother in that direction overall. So once we see this kind of condition, what we can do with an advanced get is simply drop down to a smaller time frame, something like say a 60 minute chart. Just like this. And if you look here, I've taken this back in time a little bit so that we could take a look at it. Now we've got a 60 minute chart up there where the daily stochastic was overbought. And you'll see it works exactly the same down here on my 60 minute chart. We have false bar. Now we had an uptrend that ended up developing on this 60 minute time frame. It failed and developed into what? A downtrend. Now here's where potentially going with that bigger time frame is much more important. Because I know that the daily is very weak and in a downtrend, I probably would not have been very excited about taking this potential buy signal from our advanced get stochastic. This is something we work with people on in the mentoring constantly and consistently to help them be disciplined and to try and go along with the bigger picture, even when you're trading a smaller time frame. So given that, 
we probably would have skipped that one and waited until we got a nice setup like we have here where we have a nice downtrend in place. And now what I want to do is simply wait. And if I want to know where the next level of resistance is, I can use a tool like my mob, which you'll notice is this pink and purple line that has been placed on my chart down here. This gives me the next level of resistance below that current low. which is going to be very important for continuation because I want to use that as a potential target to let me know what my reward is potentially if I get a setup here. So let's uh, see how this would have played out here as we go along. And this is a very current data. This is from the 16th going forward of October 2007. So as the market started to trade along, we're rolling along and look at this. The, it is bouncing a little bit. We're starting to get that retracement, starting to get that retracement. Oh, my stochastic is now getting to a point where I'm going to get very interested. I'm starting to get overbought. Oh, I've gotten overbought. I've gotten a nice signal here. It would have been time for me to take a look at doing something with a trigger method like our regression trend channel, giving me the right time and price, breaking this lower channel to get into this market for potential continuation to the mob. Now, this happens to be an entry that would have been right around 116.80 or so. My mob is down at about 116.30. That's 50 pips worth of potential. The stop just above this near-term high up here would have been right around 20 pips. So I've got a potential. It doesn't always get to the mob, but I've got a potential here of 50 pips for 20 pips worth of risk. I like those kinds of trades. That's more than two to one on what I'm risking. So let's see how things would go, and we'd move along. Oh, next bar comes in nicely, very strong towards our mob, and we start to get just a little bounce, bang. We run right into our mob, and once we've run into that mob, we do have another mob lower down to tell us, well, if this thing really continues, where is it going to go? So you can see we've paused at our mob here. Let's see what happens. Oh, we just barely get through it. So I've got a nice complete trade under my belt there. Probably can be all the way out, possibly just holding a little piece to see what happens. Now as we continue to bounce, notice I still have a nice false bar down here telling me that I still have an intact downtrend, which means I can look to be a seller of this market again if it sets up correctly. And I know that that daily is weak, so I know I'm still going along with the bigger time frame, and the moves are going to be stronger in that direction. So as we start to trade along, getting closer, oh, my stochastic has gotten overbought now. So now I would go apply a nice trigger, something like our regression trend channel, wait for a breach of that regression trend channel, just like that, to get me short. Now I know I'm getting in here right around 180 again. This next mob down here is down about 20. That's 60 pips worth of potential. My stop above this high, and let me clean this up. I'll just remove that previous regression trend channel trade, is right up, right up here. Again, 30 pips worth of risk, 60 pips worth of potential. That's two to one. I like those kinds of risk reward scenarios. Let's see how this would have continued to play out. And this is the same setup we looked at on the daily chart just giving us our direction and now we've gone down to a smaller time frame here on the 60 in order to trade it and keep our risk a bit smaller. Well, market comes in, has a little bounce at that previous resistance where our smaller mob was. As we play forward, play forward, keep going. This is a pretty nice trade. It hasn't really ever put me in any danger since I got triggered in. Just been constantly in the money. Bang. Several bars later we went right into our mob perfect level to be taking profits, closing out a majority of my trade. And that is exactly how we trade the advanced get false bar stochastic. It does lean back on some Elliott wave because we are looking for that trend, call it wave three if you will, the retracement and the continuation of that trend. We're just doing it without cluttering our screen with a lot of Elliott counts. My guest today has been Craig Russell from eSignal. Thanks to eSignal and Craig Russell for joining us. This has been the inaugural edition of the Forex TV University. 
uh, education series of Tools of the Trade.